Today you can hear the Chrome Hearts name in songs of Drake, Lil Uzi Vert, Gunna, and The Weeknd. She got Chrome Hearts hanging from her neck. While also seeing them on the wrist, fingers, and butts of everyone from Post Malone, Offset, Shy Gilgis, Alexander, and Haley Bieber. Maxfield recently released a Chrome Hearts ebony and gold toilet plunger for $6,000 US dollars as part of the retailer's 50th anniversary collection that sold out in 20 minutes. The brand's iconic silver jewelry is recognized for its exquisite handcraftsmanship, which pays tribute to LA's OG biker style, employing gothic themes and motifs like skulls, crosses, and the brand's gothic fonts inscribed on all pieces. Today, the brand's design language extends to homeware, fragrances, and lifestyle goods. Think Rubik's Cubes, basketball nets, incense holders, leather pillows, staplers, you name it, all handcrafted. Behind the Hype, Chrome Hearts. It's real classic. I think it's like uh, as conservative in the 21st century as Ralph Lauren is or Hermes is right now. Same thing, same stuff, only it's black. And it's really whoever you are, that's what it is. Chrome Hearts isn't just a silver studded brand, it's a star studded lifestyle. The owners like to cultivate an air of mystery. Their stores don't have signs, but they do have you carved into the floorboards. Richard Stark and wife Lori Lynn Stark founded Chrome Hearts in 1988. What started as early biker leather and silver jewelry aesthetics quickly developed into a plethora of luxury lifestyle goods, ranging from handcrafted gothic leather logo t shirts cross-shaped leather patched vintage denim, sterling silver truffle shavers, ebony dining tables, and custom car interiors for people like Rihanna, Kanye, and Guns N' Roses. When speaking on the creation of the product, Richard Stark has famously said, nothing here is made, everything's built. Chrome Hearts owes its beginnings to Richard's love of motorcycles, Harley Davidson to be exact. Originally formed out of a garage in LA in 1988, Richard set out to create the biker gear and gothic jewelry he wanted, but couldn't find. Using his experience in leather manufacturing and carpentry, Richard worked with two partners, Leonard Comort, a master jeweler who worked exclusively in sterling silver, and John Bowman, whose art direction for the brand helped establish the label's signature gothic style for which the company is famed for today. While Richard and Lori kickstarted the label, it's his Stark children who are using their entrepreneurial spirit and social media clout to attract the next generation into stores, through collaborations with pals like Bella Hadid. This eagle-eyed focus mixed with the Stark's Devil May Care attitude manifests as a cornucopia of flawlessly crafted objects ranging from chandeliers to pizza cutters. All made in LA with a rebel edge, it's these handcrafted pieces that have taken the brand down a rock star and supermodel studded path to become an era-defining institution at the turn of the 21st century. Chrome Hearts has worked with countless legendary musicians with the likes of Guns N' Roses, Sex Pistols, and the Rolling Stones, in addition to fashion mainstays such as Comme des Garçons, Gareth Pugh, and Rick Owens. Unlike today's market saturated with collaborations, none of these projects were deemed collabs when they were conceived. They just happened, says Richard. Jesse Joe's spin on the brand sees Chrome Hearts working with artists such as Matt Giacomo and Virgil Abloh. The LA located 250,000 square foot Chrome Hearts factory hires experts in jewelry making, woodworking, leatherwork, metalworking, and more. 30 years into their proudly independent, fiercely family-run enterprise, Chrome Hearts boasts a portfolio of 30 stores around the world and an expanding footprint in Asia, especially Japan, thanks to Rei Kubo herself. Despite how Chrome Hearts is stocked at high-end department stores and regrammed, the label is notoriously cryptic. It's this authentic, unfaltering, we-don't-play-by-the-rules personality and aesthetic, not to mention the celeb friends, that has allowed the brand to remain relevant after all these years. Stark was voted Accessories Designer of the Year in 1992 and was presented with the award by his friend Cher. Nobody really even knows what Chrome Hearts is about. Are they a furniture store? A jewelry store? A lifestyle company? The most convincing rhetoric the Starks provide about their label is perhaps their persistence in not having one at all. As Richard explained in a Hypebeast interview, "Fucking label it whatever you want. I just call Chrome Hearts, Chrome Hearts. If you have to tell somebody what you are, you aren't. Behind the hype.